Welcome to my series, Which Racist White Woman Are We Exposing Today? Glee Edition. What is up? you guys i just got back from a new york city protest and it was amazing it was great i dipped out as soon as the cop car started coming because i don't play that shit we have to talk bitch i've told you guys before i'm not a drama channel i only talk about news that um i find interesting i was in the leah michelle fandom from 2015 to 2017 and kind of in 2018. This shit is interesting to me, bitch. This applies to me. If you've been here from the very beginning, you know how hard I rode for this white woman. Like, you, you know. I am going to see Leah Michelle today and Kiki Palmer. Oh God, oh Ew. God, oh when I see her, I'm gonna start crying. to Leah Michelle's debut album, Louder. If you are new to my channel and you don't know me very well, then you wouldn't know that I have an obsession with Leah Michelle. She's my everything. I've made videos on her in the past. Like, I made a video when I went to go meet her. You guys know how hard I rode for this white woman, but not anymore. And let's talk about why. Basically, for the first time in her entire fucking career, four days ago, Leah Michelle spoke out in support of George Floyd and tweeted about black people. She's literally been a celebrity for 10 years years over 10 years and has never ever ever done this so when she did make this tweet friends of mine from the fandom like when we all used to be on like stan twitter for leah michelle sent it to me and was like oh my gosh like i never thought that i'd see the day and i tweeted that too i was like i never thought that i would see the day that leah michelle would speak out and this was something that like I have criticized her for in the past, but like nobody took it seriously because what fans of white women say whenever they don't speak out, they don't have to be political. Leah's not a politician. She doesn't have to say anything. Bitch, we don't play that shit anymore. If you're silent, you're complacent. That's how it is. You don't have to be in politics to be speaking out. All you have to do is have a platform. You just have to have an Instagram or a Twitter or just like speak out in fucking person. I would literally bet every single dollar that I owned that Lee Michelle has never like had progressive conversations about how she can use her privilege as a white woman to do better for the black community. I know that she's never done that ever, but um, she spoke out four days ago. Last night, oh, also something that I should just mention, all of the people that Leah has been like retweeting in regards to what's going on, civil unrest, police brutality, have all been white folk. Just like other white celebrities. Retweeting Taylor Swift, Miley Cyrus, Lin-Manuel, who is not white, but he's also not black. How about you just like credit black people for once? That correlates to what we're gonna be talking about today. Last night, Glee star Samantha Ware, who was on the series towards the end of it, this beautiful, beautiful, dark-skinned black queen, basically called Leah out out of nowhere saying, LMAO, remember when you made my first television gig a living hell? Cause I'll never forget. I believe you told everyone that if if you had the opportunity, you would shit in my wig amongst other traumatic microaggressions that made me question a career in Hollywood. Now, when I read this tweet, I was not surprised. There's a reason why I left the fandom in 2017. I did not have any concrete evidence that Leah Michelle was anti-black or did not support her black co-stars or made black people just like feel bad. I There was no concrete evidence. The only, I guess, evidence was the fact that like everything that she did after Glee got canceled and like nobody really even wanted to fucking work with her but there was no evidence as to why like nobody really knew why it was just like she left Glee she did like a couple other gigs and then that was it I would consider her career right now to be an Instagram influencer but not even anymore. That's not even gonna work out for her anymore and we will get into why. Samantha Ware tweets this and everybody's just like going crazy. Spill, get, get that shit off of your chest. Like girl, you better spill. What confirmed that like she wasn't lying or that she wasn't like just pulling this out of her ass was the fact that other Glee stars were liking and responding to her tweet. So Alex Newell, who played Unique Adams on Glee, responded with these gifts and everybody was just like, okay, like obviously something is up. If you have other Glee stars responding to this or like encouraging Samantha or like supporting Samantha, it's like, she's obviously not pulling this out of her ass. Then my sis Amber Riley 
Amber Riley. Literally the entire black community loves Amber Riley. Then Amber Riley responds with a couple gifts. Basically just like saying without saying, sis we know. Like we, we see you, we know, and we support you. Melissa Benoit, I think that that's how you pronounce her last name, started liking some of the tweets too. Like once all that started happening, everyone was like, okay, this bitch obviously is wonky. Like something's obviously going on, right? Um, and now me and my friend Angel, who she was like part of the fandom too, we both left. We were on the phone together just cackling. Like we were just like, bro, we called it. We knew that it was coming. And I'm not gonna like say what my stand Twitter is because I've had that since 2015. I don't need y'all going onto that Twitter. I went back into that Twitter. I just like logged in. Mind you, I had not been into that Twitter since 2017. It's been three years. And all of the stands that were still there, like they never left, were just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that this is happening. Like, this is such a shock. And I'm sitting there like, bitch, you had no type of inclining that this was like not on black people's side. Like she's never spoken up about one black issue in her entire career until four days ago. Whenever Glee people like have reunions, she never gets invited to them. Nobody ever wants to work with her. I don't trust white people that are not able to have like a conversation about race. Race is literally prevalent everywhere at all times. She worked on a show that was all about inclusiveness and diversity and um, race came up and she's this white woman who's so privileged with this platform with this fame and she didn't do anything with it like I'm not fucking surprised I'm not surprised so now on Twitter everyone's just like okay this bitch is canceled like shitting in a wig like nah she's canceled and I think that it was really confirmed after like other celebrities were like saying without saying to Samantha like we are with you we know what you're talking about and we support you Amber Riley did it Melissa Benoit did it Kevin McHale even there was Kevin McHale responded to a thread where it's like oh all like why all the Glee stars are trash Leah Michelle was listed as being a racist and then Cord Overstreet was listed as I think supporting All Lives Matter. Kevin McHale who played Artie said false and then somebody was like false about Cord Overstreet or the entire thread and he just said Cord which means he didn't deny that any of the other claims about these actors were false. If Leah Michelle wasn't a racist she he would have included her in that too. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm sitting on here because you know what I just find it very entertaining. Me and Angel were talking about how like if all of this was true True, and Leah knew that like all of these people could just expose her at any given time if I were a privileged white woman who gave black people on set a hard time and knew that they could expose me at any moment and I've literally never commented on race ever the first time that I do it I would I guess kind of expose myself by being like I've been extremely insensitive in the past I would like to start now being inclusive maybe you know post a little receipt of a donation to George Floyd's family but it's like, she gets on Twitter talking about, oh, George Floyd didn't deserve this, as if she's been talking about black people. Bitch, you don't get to do that. Which is probably why Samantha got pissed as fuck. Like, you made my first gig a living hell, and then you're popping up on Twitter talking about black people. Like, I'm not surprised. I'm truly not surprised. I knew that this day would come, and it finally did. I knew that it was gonna happen. The tweets have been absolutely hilarious. Like, I was up until 2 a.m. last night, reading all these tweets, laughing at all these tweets, tweeting, in the Lee Michelle's cancel party because it's so funny like I don't feel bad I don't feel bad that's what you get when you are in a privileged position and you don't use your platform especially if you've been like an asshole to your castmates like um yeah no you know what this goes to show guys like intuition is always key in 2017 I had an intuition that this bitch was wonky and I was right. And then, oh, back to the Instagram influencer thing. Hello Fresh, which is this brand that she literally worked with every single fucking month. Like at this point, they're paying her bills. Hello Fresh is her salary right now. They're probably paying her a lot, but it's like, that's all. Like she's not working on TV shows right now. Like she's literally just doing sponsorship. They came out with a statement because people started tagging them, bitch. I thought that they saw the like Leah Michelle trending and then like read through it and then made a statement. No, they made this statement multiple times to multiple fans that were tagging them saying like you're working with an anti-black white woman like this girl's racist they take to twitter and they go hello fresh does not condone racism nor discrimination of any kind we are disheartened and disappointed to learn of the recent claims concerning leah michelle we take this very seriously and have terminated our partnership with leah michelle effective immediately <laughs> guys <laughs> i can't help but giggle. No, that shit was funny as hell. <laughs> she hasn't made a statement yet. She hasn't said anything. Um, but 
What do y'all think? I think that it's actually fucking hilarious. I know that people who are still Leah stands are probably gonna come for me, but it's like, I truly, that like, I, you couldn't pay me to care. Um, there's no amount of money that you could pay me to care. Yeah, no, I've been out of that fandom since 2017. And true Sophie Lovick So subscribers know how hard I went for this woman. I was literally like obsessed with her. I bought this woman's books, plural. <laughs> She got me Leah Michelle's book. If you were a Gleek or a Leonatic, that's what they were called, or like you were in like the whole Glee fandom, like what do you think about this? What do you think about Leah Michelle? My guess, before she does come out with a public statement, my guess is that she's either gonna do the notes app apology or she's going to get on um, a video crying. It's either gonna be one of those two things and um, when one of those things happens, you'll know that I called it. Let me know what you guys think down below. I was gonna kind of tie this into the, into performative activism, but I feel like making a separate video on that because there are so many TikToks coming out of these just white people being performative and like posing in front of buildings that have been looted and that that requires an entirely different video. But the takeaway from this is that Leah Michelle is a performative activist. I genuinely do not believe any of the words that she said when she tweeted about black people. She did it because it was a bandwagon and it looked weird if you weren't doing it. Those are my thoughts. That is all I'm gonna say on the matter. Please comment down below what you guys think. I would love to hear from you. And with that, I love you and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. And that's what you missed on Glee.